Good morning, I just got ready. As you guys saw, my brother is in town and he's here for the next couple of days for his Thanksgiving break. Today we're going to the super classic French bistro. We have a reservation that we made actually very last minute. So we're going to head over there soon. The outfit for today, I'm wearing this beautiful white jacket from Low Classic. And I wanna show you guys this actually faux fur coat that I got this past weekend. I went to the outlet mall with a group of friends called the Valle Village. Huge discounts on high street and luxury pieces. And I found this white coat from Montclair. And you guys won't believe it. It was pretty much like 65% off. When I tried it on, I loved it. And then I decided to kind of think about it while shopping around and finally was like, okay, the discount is too good to be true. And I feel like I will get tons of use out of it. It's just super beautiful. It also comes with a hood, but look at how pretty this is. So I'm gonna wear this and then I'll show you the hood actually. So you can attach it and you can actually style the hood in two different ways as well. So yeah, I love it. We are now walking to lunch and look at the weather. It's so nice. I was actually worried because it said it was supposed to rain all week and I was sad for my brother and it's just so much nicer when the weather is nice, but we didn't have to be worried because look at this. Sometimes you just gotta trust what's out of your control and you'll get a little bit surprised. The weather is so good. Oh my gosh, Paris. Bonjour, I have a reservation for 12 o'clock under Lois. You? Yes. It's been around since 1912. This is like so typical. We got the pate, which is a very French dish, and my favorite the escargot. So. Mm. Mm. head into my workout class. It's my favorite with tea. Sometimes you guys ask me about my like workout classes in Paris, but this girl is killer. And also Alice, I always do uh, the Pilates class at Bar Shape. These are my two favorites. So I am gonna maximize my time here because I usually don't love boxing. It's not my go-to in New York, but this place is so good.
This uh, jacket and skirt is from Bob I Bride. They have these new black boots on from Flattered. They kindly sent it to me and I was actually looking for some long black boots. So, so excited and wearing my gray coat. This one is from the front row. It also comes with this beautiful scarf, which I love and have been wearing a lot because it's so cold here now. But this is the outfit for today. And let's head out. Now we're off to the Gallery Lafayette and I haven't been there in ages, but I've heard during the Christmas holiday seasons, they put up all the lights and the huge like Christmas tree. The outfit for today is I'm wearing this brown top, like sweater top from Diagonal. These are old Frankie Shop white trousers, my New Balance, and then this black trench coat is from Blossom. So let's head out. We have arrived at the center Pompidou. my first time here it's so cool <laughs> because my brother left early for the airport and was trying to fall back asleep but couldn't so I've just been browsing on Street Easy for apartments in New York it is about time to start looking so it's crazy because just living in Paris has made me like realize I mean I already knew but just how ridiculously expensive rent is in New York and I always get questions about cost of living in Paris versus New York and Paris is also an expensive city, but I think compared to New York overall, everything is more expensive in New York and especially rent. So yeah, I've talked about it briefly in my lives and stuff, but my rent here, I'm in a very central area. I can pretty much walk everywhere and I could not even find a one bedroom or probably even a studio um in the central part of manhattan for that price so it's just like crazy my biggest non-negotiable is having a washer and dryer in the building or in the unit um i would like to have it in the unit but if not it needs to be in the building i've realized it makes such a huge difference um more than for me for there to be like an elevator or a doorman and that is my only main criteria and I would like to be in Manhattan. So yeah, I'm starting to look, but I'm gonna try to stay positive. But I mean, I know it's gonna work out because it always does. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm just gonna also make some phone calls and FaceTimes to look at apartments because I'm not in New York. So I have a list of places that I need to view.